because I'm so desperate to see the church be all that she can be. I hate it when people label the church as mean and ugly and judgmental. And I know that it's James and Betty's passion to see the church be a light to the lost, to the hurt, to the starving, to the captive. And yet so many people in the world think the church is just the people that are against things. During the break, I, I asked a couple people what was the sin of Sodom and Gomorrah. And um, you here told me sodomy. You here told me it was perversion. And, you know, most people do think that is the sin of Sodom and Gomorrah. And we think, oh, it's homosexuality. That's what happens. But, you know, can I read to you out of the Bible where it says in Ezekiel 16, verse 49, what the sin of Sodom was? It said, behold, this was the guilt of your sister Sodom. She and her daughters had pride, excess of food, and prosperous ease, but they did not aid the poor and the needy. We are a nation of prosperous eat. We are a nation with excess of food. We are a nation where people are always finding ways to entertain themselves. I don't want to end up this way. You say, but, but I thought there was homosexuality. Anytime we think it's just about us, we will do things that gratify us. They just lived for gratification. Because when we have a culture that is self-focused, that is all they do. And all of us can be selfish at the flip of a switch. And so I have learned that anytime I want to make a big change in my life, I need to make a big leap. Romans 12, one through two says, I appeal to you, and this is Paul saying, I appeal to you therefore brothers, by the mercies of God, to present your body as living sacrifices, holy and acceptable to God, which is your spiritual worship. Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, that by testing you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. I believe there is a generation that wants to present themselves for service, but they don't know how to make the transition from captivity to consecration.